two humanoid robots, two radically different visions of the future. On one side, the Unitree G1, a compact, agile humanoid designed in China by Unitree Robotics, the same company famous for affordable robot dogs like the Go2 and B2. The G1 represents their push into humanoids, with a focus on affordability and accessibility. On the other side, the 1X Neo, developed by Norwegian startup 1X Technologies. Backed by massive funding rounds and supported by OpenAI investors, Neo isn't just a research platform. It's designed to be a friendly, practical robot for homes, offices, and even healthcare. So, how do they compare? And which one is more likely to shape our everyday lives? Let's start with design and build. The Unitree G1 stands at just over 4 feet tall, with an athletic frame built for balance, flexibility, and efficiency. Its design emphasizes low cost without sacrificing too much functionality. The G1 is highly portable, relatively lightweight, and its modular build makes it easier to maintain. The 1X Neo, by contrast, looks more human-centered. Its outer shell is wrapped in a soft, fabric-like knit that reduces the risk of accidental injuries. The design even includes glowing earrings that change color to reflect the robot's mood. It's less about looking like a lab machine and more about feeling approachable in everyday environments. Now movement and skills. The Unitree G1 is built for agility. It can walk smoothly, squat, balance under pressure, and handle dynamic movement. Great for research into locomotion and robotics testing. With its human-like hands, it can also grasp and manipulate objects, but the focus remains on functional mechanics at a reasonable cost. The 1X Neo takes a very different approach. Instead of showing off athletic stunts, it demonstrates useful tasks. It can vacuum on command, fetch a drink, play games like Connect Four, dance, and even arm wrestle. These aren't just gimmicks. They highlight how Neo is meant to live and interact alongside humans in practical, everyday scenarios. Next, AI and control systems. Here's where the biggest difference lies. The Unitree G1 runs on more traditional control and programming frameworks. It's affordable partly because it doesn't rely on heavy onboard AI, making it a great option for researchers who want to integrate their own software or test external systems. The 1X Neo, however, is powered by Redwood AI, a transformer-based model that runs entirely on board. It processes vision, movement, and touch locally, without needing cloud connections. That means faster reactions and improved privacy. And when the AI gets stuck, 1X has a backup, teleoperation. A human can step in remotely, using VR headsets to literally see through Neo size and guide it in real time. Over time, these human interventions help train the AI to act more independently. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this breakdown, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the latest updates in AI and robotics. Now, let's compare price and accessibility. The Unitree G1 is one of the cheapest humanoid robots available, priced between $15,000 and $20,000. For universities, research labs, and developers, this is groundbreaking. It means real humanoid research isn't limited to billion-dollar companies. It's open to smaller teams around the world. The 1X Neo, on the other hand, is expected to cost around the price of a new car. While that's far more expensive than the G1, it's still dramatically cheaper than traditional humanoids that run into the hundreds of thousands. And Neo is positioned for a different market, households and businesses that want a useful assistant, not just a research tool. So who is this for? The Unitree G1 is best for developers, robotics researchers, and institutions that want a low-cost entry point into humanoid robotics. It's not yet ready to serve as a daily assistant, but it's a powerful platform for experimentation and progress. The 1X Neo is aimed directly at integration into human spaces. From helping with chores, to assisting the elderly, to working in offices, it's built for direct interaction. If 1X succeeds in scaling production, this could be one of the first humanoid robots to actually enter mainstream homes. So which one comes out on top? In terms of accessibility and affordability, the Unitree G1 leads the way. It's available now, it's affordable by robotic standards, and it puts powerful humanoid technology into the hands of researchers everywhere. 
But when we talk about shaping our daily lives, the One X Neo holds the bigger promise. Its design onboard AI and focus on real-world usefulness make a strong candidate to become the first humanoid millions of people might actually live with. The truth is, they're not really competing in the same category. The G1 is a stepping stone for research and innovation. The NEO is a step toward mass adoption and integration. Both play essential roles in the robotics race. And that race is accelerating faster than ever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Which humanoid do you think has the brighter future? The affordable Unitree G1 or the human-friendly 1X Neo?